welcome back to Pets on Parade. During the first few weeks of life, a kitten's primary concerns are feeding, keeping warm, and developing social skills. If the kitten has been separated from its mother, caring for him is up to you. And uh, joining us today is one of our dedicated foster parents, Rebecca, who is an expert when it comes to bottle feeding kittens. She's done many, many of these. And thank you so much for being here, Rebecca, and for bringing <laughs> us your Ashley. wee little friends. <laughs> They're very hungry. Yes. <laughs> He knows. <laughs> so um, let's start off by, I think, um, you know, a lot of people are finding kittens around their neighborhood. Tell us what the age is for these three you have, or these four. You have all different ages here. So people kind of know what to look for and can kind of guess what age they're, the kittens they find might be. Um, the one that you have, the little black one down there, she is uh, two and a half weeks old. Very wobbly. Uh, yes, and the way, an easy way to tell the age is their eyes usually open between 7 to 12 days um, of age. So if their eyes are not open, they're typically under two weeks old. Okay. Um, the two in the middle here are right at three weeks old. A good way to tell that is that their fangs are in, both the top and the bottom. The okay. fangs start coming in at three weeks of age. This one down here on this end is three and a half weeks old. Um, and the way to tell that is the middle canines in the bottom are okay. um, So that is uh, a good way to tell that age. And much more active and alert oh, yes. and everything else. All right, well, that's good to know. So what kind of supplies do we need to bottle feed these kittens? Um, probably the first most important thing, especially with the younger kittens, is keeping them warm. A lot of people don't realize that when they take kitties into their air-conditioned homes that the temperatures are too low for them. Okay. Um, a kitten's temperature should be between 101 to 102.5, so they require warmth in order to help keep that temperature stable. And you brought along some other supplies, too. You've got your heating pads there. Um, what else do we need? Um, you need kitten milk replacer, or um, some people use goat's milk, um, which is commercially available at Walmart. Um, I typically use KMR, Kitten Milk Replacer, and as you can see, I order it in large quantities. You can get much smaller quantities at places like PetSmart or Petco. Okay, and of course, bottles. Of course. Um, <laughs> without the bottles, it might be difficult to feed them. I brought a bottle kit today, and the reason I brought this kit um, is because it has multiple different nipples in it that work really great for different age groups. Okay, um, what do we but, start with? I would say if they're young, under two weeks, you would probably want to start with the long, elongated nipple okay. um, that's in the top of it and just snip the tip off. Okay. They work really well with those. Okay. That's sometimes the hardest thing is getting the kitties to address to a bottle instead of their mom. So. Oh, yes. It's, <laughs> it can be very difficult. <laughs> My little middle guy is, is on the prowl for one of the bottles, let me tell okay, you. Okay, Tordy. Come here, sweetheart. <laughs> Here you go. So you've got your formula mixture. How do we go about make, making sure it's the right consistency, Rebecca? Um, on the back of the formula packet, it, it states to mix uh, one part to two parts. Okay. So if you use one part of formula, you want to use two parts water. Um, sometimes that can be a little rich. You'll watch um, the bowels to have, like if their bowels are runny and they have a kind of a diarrhea, you may want to back that, um, increase the water amount in the formula. Um, that should help with that. Okay. And temperature, does it uh, have to be a certain temperature? Um, it's like testing a bottle for like a newborn infant. Um, you can test it on your wrist. If it's too hot on your wrist, it's going to be too hot for the kittens. So how often do you feed them? Um, newborns to two weeks of age need to be fed every two and a half to three hours. Wow. Um, as they get older, that time can spread out a little bit more. But even with ones this age, it should probably be more than four hours. Like like babies, do they need to be burped? They typically will burp on their own <laughs> after they eat. You'll hear it. Okay. Um, if they don't, you can just stroke their backs. Um, and but because they're you know playing and active, they typically burp on their own. And lastly, when do kittens um, we when do you wean them off of the bottle? Um, you'll notice they'll start to chew on the bottle when the teeth start coming in at about three, three and a half weeks old. Okay. Um, I typically start the weaning process at four weeks, and that's by adding a little bit of the canned food into their formula mixture. Oh, okay. And then I'll take them to a gruel mixture out of a bowl and let them actually lap out of the bowl at about four weeks. Wonderful. Great information. Um, and for those of you at home, you know, if you do try to bottle feed kittens, if you find a litter in your yard, 
are, like Perry said, we do recommend that you try to bottle feed them, keep them till they're about eight weeks old, then bring them to the Humane Society if they're tame, and uh, we can spay and neuter them, put them up for adoption. If they are feral, you want to try to try those TNR resources, Trap, Neuter, and Return. You can get more information at so many cats.org. And lastly, if you're interested in helping our shelter kitties and becoming a bottle, a bottle baby foster parent. We have an orientation coming up in May. It's the 23rd at our Sunny Slope campus. You can get more information at azhumane.org. Rebecca, again, thanks so much for bringing these babies here. I've never bottle fed a kitten before, so well, now, I'm very excited. Well, now, yeah. <laughs> Stay with us. When we come back, we have a very handsome boy for you to meet. It's our breed of the week. Learn how you can um, adopt this guy, and we'll also give you some details on dog training classes. We'll be right back.